Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph or Niramas, and I'm here today with Draco. And we are back for another channel update, and where we talk about the first impressions of five games that I played since last I did one of these updates. And I also will talk a little bit here in the beginning about what's going on with the channel right now. Um, basically, I've been really, really active. I've been filming a lot. I've been streaming, and you probably, you know, noticed that uh, very high production uh, tempo on the channel right now, which is fun. I'm having fun with it. I hope you are as well watching. It's summer, of course, <laughs> in Sweden. That means that it's either rainy and somewhat cold or um, really hot right now it's it's um, yeah somewhere in between but it, it's okay because I am you know exercising every day I'm out walking uh, running a little bit uh, you know uh, using walking sticks and uh, I'm you know climbing mountains and stuff like that or like walking in rough terrain uh, to get my health and, and my um, stamina up and, and lose weight and it's going well it's going well um, I am you know becoming smaller and smaller <laughs> for every week that goes by so that is awesome and and then i'm really happy that it's not that hot as well and the same goes for the filming uh, because i wasn't filming at all like a few weeks ago because it was so hot around the midsummer and all that but now it's it's really decent and i have a, a good fan here in my studio as well i, I turn it off when i record but it's, it's cooling down the room in, in between recordings uh, yeah, so I'm I'm ha just having a good time right now. Um, you know, staying healthy and working on on a lot of you know improvements in my everyday and in my um, in my person, I guess you could say <laughs> in some ways. All right, well, Drake is doing good as well. I think he uh, doesn't mind if it gets hot though, for natural reasons. But let's talk about five games that I played uh, recently. And let's get started here. I am going to have them running in the background and I've made videos for all of them so you can check them out more in detail. I'll just talk a little bit about if I liked them, if I didn't, and why. So the first one to talk about is Bermuda Pirates. And this is a um, basically a kids game. Uh, I guess, you know, family slash kids game. And it's a dexterity game. So that's like two categories of games that I very, very rarely cover on the channel. For, for obvious reasons um, but I got this one sent to me and I thought it could be fun to do something out of the ordinary and you know Draco had really fun as well <laughs> because we played against each other and uh, moved our little ships around and and Draco could use his dragon tail to do that obviously and he, he was really good at that so yeah the game itself is really oh here we go here goes Draco uh, the game itself is really fun for uh, for kids I would say um, like, I don't know, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, I guess, uh, something like that. Uh, and um, my, my friends uh, have the game now and they have uh, kids uh, that might, I don't know if they're too young really, but I think they had really fun with it though, because you move your ship around and this board is double layered. But so like under this board is four different boards building the foundation. And in those, you can rotate them randomly. And in those, there's these uh, metal pieces. And the ships that we use in little plastic ships, they have a magnet in the bottom. So when you push it around, you only, can only use one finger or one dragon tail when you do it. Uh, then when you hit one of those magnets under there, it's like it, there's a maelstrom in the water like Draco did there. <laughs> and then you have to stop and then it's the other player's turn. And you're trying to go to the middle island and collect these crystals and go back to your island and whoever get, collects one of each color first is the winner. So I, I would recommend this for um, you know um, families basically and, and kids and I think uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of I, I like this I think this is what's it called magic maze I played with my my um, nephews um where where um this is the whole thing of using magnet and then having like a modular board i think that's something that kids find very fun and i did as well i think this was fun so yeah that is bermuda pirates and next up is a soul summer pavilion which is like a soul 3 basically because it's the third game in the soul series and i liked a soul from you know from the first one and this is especially the second one that's my favorite with the stained glass of sintra and then this third one, 
uh, if you haven't played a soul at all basically it's very abstracted game but it has beautiful components and you're building different shapes and so on with these components and that scores you points in different ways and the first game was really mean though especially on like two or three players you could really set the other players up in order to make them get minus points and it, it could be a really mean game um which i think they have they, i think they wanted to move away from that because this one the third one summer pavilion is not that mean at all from my experience uh, you don't really get those situations that you have to take a bunch of tiles that you can't fit and then you get a bunch of minus points you, st you still get some minus points but but not as much as uh, you used to do in the first and the second one so i think yeah the second one is my favorite but i think this one was cool as well i think this is my second favorite i don't know i think this for me it's pretty much tied between this one and the first one uh, in terms of gameplay and so on but yeah so i, I think it's good and i if you like a soul you should definitely you know check out this one i have my, you know you can check this video out to start with to see more of it and see it actually played and i in the video i explain how you know the the points are calculated and all that because, I, yeah, I, th I think Assault is a cool system. I don't really know why, though, because I usually don't like abstract games at all. But I, I don't know. For some reason, this works for me. Not that I'm good at it. Not at all. My brain doesn't work that way. But I am enjoying playing all the Assault games. So, yeah, Summer Pavilion. And then I would like to talk a little bit about Curators. And to be fair, I actually played Curators, like, uh, over a year ago when it was in the... Uh, Swedish Championship of Board Game Design. But that was a prototype, of course. This is a prototype as well, but this is the sort of more finished game because I did a Kickstarter preview. So this was a uh, paid preview where I showed sort of how the game was played in, in a fairly short amount of time. I didn't really play the game in that video, but I uh, played it, you know, a few times with Draco before I did this video. So I really, you know, got the things down. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that now... This has been on Kickstarter and the Kickstarter was funded and so on. So I don't think you can, you know, go buy it today. But it, I think you will be able to buy it, of course. Um, I don't know when this uh, fulfills, but probably sometime uh, early next year or so. Uh, and the really cool thing about this game is, well, it's a tile laying game um, where you're building up a museum where you're placing artwork and then you get visitors and the visitors will generate you money and then you can build more rooms and keep going uh, in a really fun way. But it's it's quite short as well. I mean, it's like, it's, it's a decent, it's a really mid-weight Euro. Uh, you can play this with your family or with gamers. I enjoyed it a bunch, I must say. And the main thing that I really like about this game is those tiles that you can see there. Um, these action selection tiles. So you have these tiles, they're two-sided. So... Uh, as you start off the game, you have five different actions you can do. But once you do one of those actions, you flip that tile over and it becomes, it has the same symbol as one of the other. Uh, it's like representing another action, right? So then when you do that action, you have two tiles and then you flip both of those over and you can do that action, but twice as good, uh, which is really cool. So you need to figure out a good sort of order to do this in uh, so that you maximize your turns, really. And yeah, I found it really nice. It's really... For me, it was like a perfect level of um, how much my mind um, got boggled down with plans for the future. <laughs> I really like this level of Euros. So um, yeah, Curators, it's really cool. Check out the preview and you know, there's, there's more videos on YouTube as well uh, with, uh, with the different kinds of uh, channels that did pretty, sort of videos for this for the Kickstarter. So I recommend it. And I really like the designers and, and the publishers of this as well. Uh, so, so you know that sort of, of course, uh, it doesn't affect my judgment, but it made made me more interested in trying the game out to start with. And next up here, it's Phantom the Card Game, which is another uh, paid Kickstarter preview that I did. And this is uh, the Kickstarter, you know, uh, was um, completed and it went well. And uh, this game will be out as the same thing with us with curators as well as the same same time frame, I think. So I think this will be out next year. And um, I, this is a I don't know what to call this game. I don't know what to call the, the game mechanic it was kind of weird for me as well. When I tried to learn it at first, uh, this I did a full playthrough here with Draco and uh, it's, it's a one or two player game, which is cool. So it has you know, a lot of focus on the soloing and all that. And so you're like, you have a character, it has a deck, so it's, it's hand management basically, where you play cards in order to 
complete sort of test you know fight something off or solve a sort of a uh, situation and you build up like resources so it's like multi-use cards so the cards can both be used to get resources and then you, you need to spend those resources in order to trigger effect of other cards and this one has from what i've seen a lot of similarities to marvel champions which has been a really really popular uh, game from fantasy flight game that uh, came out i think it was this year or maybe late last year uh, i never played that game though but I, i've seen it play i've seen playthroughs and so on and i know a lot of people love it and this one has a lot of similarities um but a different theme in some ways and this this one has like a story also that sort of branches so you can make choices that affects the story which is really cool that's something i really like in games now i don't have any relation at all with with the whole phantom theme um i mean i remember as a kid i think my older uh, brothers had like you know the comic books with the phantom but i never got into it uh, i think i was maybe born a little bit too late <laughs> sort of for that i think that was more of an 80s like 70s 80s thing and i'm born in i was born in 81 so i think i kind of missed this one for me it was more like you know disney and all that stuff and and uh you know uh donald duck all those so yeah i think it, it was cool though and i think the, you know how this game was made this was made by uh, Mika Luk, who is a real sort of fa fan of the Phantom uh, universe and like he knows all about this stuff and <laughs> all the comic books and all that so, and that kind of shows in the game as well there's a lot of love involved in this game design I think uh, so I think that's really cool it's really thematic so all right let's talk about the next one and the last game that I will talk about today is Ticket to Ride Amsterdam which uh, was uh, just released uh, I did a full playthrough here with Draco. I did something new here, as you can see there. So when it's Draco's turn, the Draco, uh, <laughs> you know, um, drawing shows up there. And in, I think in some games, like this game, I think that's a good idea. Because it could be a bit confusing whose turn it is, since we don't have, like, player boards or anything else that I can focus on to really indicate who, whose turn it is, since I'm helping Draco out. It's really hard with, with Dragon Pawns to handle these you know these like uh, little carts and or you know trains it's not trains in this game it's it's like carts that you build your routes with just like ticket to ride basically but it's a shorter easier to get into version i never liked ticket to ride though <laughs> i'm sorry i know there's like really huge fans of ticket to ride but for me it's it's never been even close to like a top 100 or whatever for me uh, I mean, I played the old, you know, the basic ticket to ride. I played, the, I think, Europe and the North something, which is in Scandinavia. So it's like Sweden and so on. I played that years ago. But I never found it fun, really. Um, um, I think I don't like the whole blocking each other aspect and you block each other without knowing it, really, sometimes. And this whole set collection, set collection is not one of my favorite uh, game uh, mechanics for sure i think that's somewhat boring it's very common you know in, in these kind of games like family style games i always found it a bit boring uh you just draw cards and oh i got lucky i got the right one and then i can build the thing i need i don't know it's not a game for me i i, I know a lot of people love it and you know if you do go check out this one there's a full play through event it was also really fun because i got this from asmodee nordics uh, you know the distributor for Days of Wonder here in the Nordic countries, and it was uh, it was really cool because they sent me two copies of it, so I could give away one of the copies. So uh, you know, a lucky winner uh, won uh, last week, uh, won one of those copies, right? In in shrink and all that. So that's really fun for me to be able to do it like that. Uh, I'm very happy for that, and uh, it it brings me joy. I mean, it's not just from, it's, it, of course, it's good for the channel and it's fun and all that. But it, it basically just makes my warms my heart when I can give something away to someone that is really happy for for winning. So that that's really cool, and I hope to see more of that as well coming up. The same thing happened uh, just after this with Keyforge as well with the new Keyforge set where, that I was able to give away some stuff for as well. So yeah, Ticket Ride Amsterdam. If you like Ticket to Ride, if you want a sort of filler game, shorter game, go check it out um, and. That is basically the impressions vlog for today. It's, it's not that long. Uh, I wanted to keep it fairly short and just talk a little bit about these games. And coming up here, end of July and in August, I have a few announcements to make, <laughs> which is fun. 
first one is that uh, we are getting close to 5,000 subscribers on the channel, which is really, really cool. And I expect that to happen sometime next month in August, I think, or you know, late August, something like that, maybe September, early September. And when that happens, of course, as I usually do, I'm going to do a huge giveaway celebration. So I'm going to give away a lot of fun stuff, games and so on. Uh, my main sponsor, Game Maniacs, uh, the board game store in Lidköping in Sweden, are going to... Um, be a part of that as well and give away some fun stuff and there's going to be a lot of cool stuff you can win uh, and so on and it's going to be very easy to enter and, and all that so that's cool another cool thing is that i am going to when that happens i'm going to sort of shortly after i hit 5,000 subscribers i'll also do a special weekend where i post videos or live stream where i do collabs where i you know together with other youtubers that you probably will recognize from if you're watching the YouTube scene or the community on YouTube and Board Game Geek and all that. So that's something I look forward to, to do some stuff together with other YouTubers. That's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And it's always been like, I, I've been talking to a few back and forth, but we never got around to doing anything, but now it's going to happen. Um, as we get closer, I'm going to post uh, on social media and so on. And then uh, final thing for today, Big announcement that is so 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 cool. I have been asked by the uh, Essen Spiel, the biggest you know uh, board gaming convention in the world in Germany, October every year, but it's cancelled this year obviously. But they're doing a digital spiel, and they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of that. And sort of, I, I sent in a, a media kit, so and so on. I never done that before, but that was cool. And so they are giving that out to publishers so that publishers can send out games to content creators uh, ahead. And then during those days, during the Essen week, uh, or like four or five days, I'm going to be streaming a lot. I'm going to be live streaming new hot games. And I'm going to show them to you on the channel. I have no idea right now which games it's going to be and, and how many there will be. And if I'm going to do like solo playthroughs or if I'm doing it uh, with friends. I've been talking a little bit with uh, Andreas and Mats, my friends, uh, that has been on the channel uh, earlier on as well. Uh, they might join me during those days um, because, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see when we get closer. I'll, there'll be more information. But I'm just, I'm just so happy uh, that it's going to happen. It's going to be, you know, some kind of uh, digital part of being in, in, in with Essence Spiel. Uh, I'm sad that we, I know, I can't go there this year, of course. But it's going to be awesome to uh, live stream new cool hot releases uh, of games. So that is the announcement. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment, tell me all your fun stuff you can think of. I don't know. Have a good evening or morning or whatever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Do you want to keep this little dragon this happy all day long? Then subscribe to the channel.